preparing the T3 and your patient for a home sleep study. The first step is to open the battery door and plug a USB cable into the T3 and you'll see an image of the T3 show up in the software. Then you click start a new recording which will initiate the wizard and the first step is to put a check next to a snore sound or not, then uh, put a check next to cannula. And if you're going to record the masseter muscle, be sure you put a check into channel 1 and select cheek muscle. Um, then confirm the number in the software matches the oximeter you're using for the test. And clear the check for uh, show signal status. Uh, click Next. And you can auto start the test by selecting the night, number of days, and time. Or manually start the test, which requires you to give some instructions on how to uh, start the study to the patient. Select the battery type and then click next and then you are required to fill in patient uh, patient name here. Optionally you can fill out height and weight. We highly recommend this because it helps with the process. And then we also recommend in the comment section putting uh, some information about why we're doing the test. Uh, click finish here. And when you do that, a file will be sent to the T3. And when that file is successfully sent, you'll get a message. Uh, you can click OK. And disconnect the USB cable, insert the battery, and you're ready to give the T3 to your patient. Giving instructions to your patients. There's two objectives here. One is to give instruction on how to attach the sensors. And the second is to reassure your patient that the study is simple to perform. And if by chance something goes wrong, let them know it's fairly easy to repeat the test. Uh, we also recommend attaching some of the sensors, but not all of them. Uh, be sure in the instructions to clip the T3 to the patient's shirt. Um, this will give them a sense of how the test will work when they go home and go to bed. Um, and make sure they understand it hangs around the breastbone and wrap the thoracic belt or the chest belt around and, and let them practice snapping the belt to the back of the T3 as this is a little bit tricky. Also when you're attaching sensors it's a good idea to let the patient know what the sensor records like uh, the, the abdomen belt records a respiratory effort. Um, next is the masseter sensor, and we don't recommend actually attaching this, but just showing the patient how they put the sensor on. Okay, the next step after the, uh, that is the cannula. And be sure the patients understand that when you place the cannula, um, the tubes go in the nares, and that the tubing to the cannula goes up over the ears, and then gently tighten the cannula uh, underneath your chin. It does not need to be tight. Okay, finally, we're going to, uh, it's, we recommend giving instruction and actually putting the wrist oximeter on the wrist. So wrap the rubber strap around and uh, clip click the hook, and then when you're putting the finger probe on, make sure the patient understands they can move that probe around just a little bit if it gets uncomfortable during the night. Uh, we also recommend putting a piece of tape across the back of the hand to help secure the finger probe, as the oximetry is one of the, probably is the most important sh single channel that we record. And finally, be sure to give clear instructions on how to start the study by pressing the middle button and then pressing and hold until the status bar indicates recording has started. Also let them know that the blinking green light on the oximeter indicates the study is going. Okay, the patient has brought back the T3 from the overnight home sleep test and you open up the battery door and plug the USB cable again into the T3 and then this time you click download and view recording and when you do that the data that's on the T3 will be automatically transferred to your computer and auto scored at the same time. Uh, when the download is complete click done and you'll be presented with the recording results page and if you have the chance uh, do this while the patient's there 
um, and be sure and confirm that this is their study. And then do a mouse over on the quality to be sure it's a good study. And then also do a mouse over on the call out to make sure there's no unusual log file entries. Thank you very much.